up everybody thank you for coming to another detailing video i got the homie chris chris where you from man uh we're out here from long beach california we're out here in covina h2o that's right here's my setup we're gonna talk about advanced setup and guess what guys he's 17 you're 17 yes sir 17 and a half hustling man so in this video you can see advanced setup you're also gonna hear how he started to give you some motivation that hey the sooner you start the better but of course, let's get started. You ready, Chris? Yes, sir. All right, Chris, so I see you have a truck over here, man. Uh, yes, yeah. it's not the first thing I started it, but I started in a Kia Soul, you know, that little commercial with the hamster cars. Oh, yeah. But it's Kia Soul. I had, I had a 55 gallon drum. I don't know if there's one around here, but literally a drum, cut a hole on the bottom, cut a hole on the top, fill in the tank from there. We had a hole on the on the bottom of the Kia, so we actually gravity fed the water through the bottom of the Kia. So all you see sometimes maybe like a little hose coming out of the bottom of the Kia. Yeah. Hey, I was my detailing hose, so I'll, I'll pull out my pressure washer, connect the hose from the bottom. They're like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, connecting my water, connect the pressure washer hose, get started. And I didn't have a generator for the most part, but some people had, you know, I had a long extension cord. 150 feet for generic, you know, house to whatever is pretty good. So when you first started, you had a water tank, power washer, mm -hmm. a vacuum or not even a vacuum? A uh, vacuum, yes. And then was that it? Uh, a couple brushes, towels, and we just started detailing from there. Your hey. basic stuff. And well, so what happened to the Kia? Um, the motor's on. So the motor blew. It was a 2014 Kia. So with the 2014. For a used motor, it's gonna be 15 to 2,000 K. So I was like, hey, might as well find another work truck. And um, my uncle, he's a mechanic. He was like, yeah, 2,000 for a motor. And you're, you're gonna use my truck for now and we can find you another truck soon. So I'm starting using his truck. He has a Durango, a O2 Durango or something like that. And it's, it's pretty going, going on fine. It's trying to miss some problems here and there, but um, and then what happened? I found me a truck. So once this I, one? No, I found me. A, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I found me another truck, a '97 GMC Extended Cab, uh, OBS. You want to say it? Um, it was like six six and a half feet of long bed, and I found a top cap for it a day, like a couple days after, and I wanted to get that to work, but. You know, accidents happen and... What happened? Someone crashed into me, man. Oh! Someone crashed into me. I didn't have all my detailing equipment. I was coming from school, going home to pick up the Durango so I could go to the north side of Long Beach to detail. So that's why I was like, you know, I gotta go home real quick and get on my other truck. Someone hit you? Someone hit me. Hey, and just so people know, how long have you been detailing? Uh, so it's about to be a year and some change, yeah. a year and three months. So, so is was it is this the third truck you've had? Cause you had the uh, Kia, the Durango, the other truck, another. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't have a setup in that truck, but oh. I had money already put into it to be able to be. Someone hit in. you. You only had it for what? A, like a week. A week. A week with plates. Shh. That's rough. And then how you end up over here? Um. So this is my dad's truck. Um, so that truck is gone. I still have the Durango with all my setup. Um, my, my dad, being my dad. Um, oh, here, you wanna, you, you can have my keys or whatever, you can take, you can take this truck. Yeah. I'm like, I have the Durango, it's like, what, 80 bucks in gas. This one, it's like, what, uh, like 120 now. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no. I, I'll, I'll, if I need it, I'll need it, but. Yeah. So what? A couple days later, I get stuck in Costa Mesa. Because uh, Durango messed up? Because Durango had a, a fuel pump failure. Man, life is hitting you hard. Hey, but you're not stopping, bro. No, we gotta keep pushing, so. All right, man. I took so, the truck. You got this? Yeah. Run me through what you have. I see a power, uh, you know, a generator uh, over here. So we have a 3500 uh, Predator generator. We have, behind here, you can get a little scoop. We have a 1.3 um, pressure washer behind the generator. And then we have a general pump um, hose reel. We have a uh, Merlin from Harbor Freight um, air hose, air hose reel, 65 gallon water tank, uh, two Rubbermaid uh, detailing caddies. The reason why I like this, these are actually 
bottle size and everything, so they held them pretty good. I uh, pressed those against the wall, another little storage container. We have a light tripod. We have a couple of accessories for the interior. We got interior tools. These work stuff brushes, they work pretty good. They're, they're very good. They're, they're, they're pretty pricey, but hey, they're good. Uh, ninja scrubs. Got to make some lines too for the you carpet. You see the water tank over there? Yeah, so that's a 65 gallon water tank. If I'm conserving water, maybe seven cars. If I, if they're on one place, let's say I, I get seven cars in one area, I could transfer the hose, you know, real quick instead of like washing them down one by one and stuff like that. And then over here, um, I got to make a little, little new mount for this, but right here we have the steamer, the accessories right here, and then we have the air compressor, a couple of towels, um, Max Shine, purple drying towels. We have a sign cave. So whenever you go to like PV and stuff like that, get the get the very good clients. Pull this out. People are like, oh, like, what's this? Like, I seen a couple of people like, oh, like, drive their car and like, oh, like, just read it, pass by. Um, cones, vacuum on the other side. And here we have our polisher and all our um, polishing chemicals and stuff like that. Um, a little extras, extra gallons, extra uh, extended cord rail. Pretty much that's it. You're making it work, Chris. Yeah. You're making it, it work. So, yes. what's your next goal? You gonna ride with this for a while or? Um, my next goal is probably to have a couple people working for me and maybe me doing either higher end jobs or focusing on the stuff that I probably have to do. Uh, let's say not just business-wise, family-wise as well. Um, but yeah. But would you ever upgrade to a van or you think this is good enough? Um, if I got the money for it for an actual van, let's say like a, a little like a M22 or whatever. But I kind of like the truck since it's that truck profile. It's low key. I don't have so much stickers as I had with the Kia because, you know, it's a truck and stuff. But since it's a truck, I don't have to have like a bunch of overhead. I can see behind me. You have a little bit more visibility with parking and, and, and stuff like that, you know? So, okay. you know, Sounds truck, good. Sounds good as well. And then, uh, let me ask you, what's your biggest struggle with the truck setup, in your opinion? Probably just trying to make everything fit customized. Mm. So, me being, you know, a couple of access some tools, I, I can do some handy work, but, you know, like for example, I want to have this box on top of this, this pressure washer, but I want to have it firm. And I was thinking I could probably bolt this to here and whatever, but you know, you got to go through a couple phases to make things work. It's not going to happen the first time. Things are not going to go first time smoothly. So you got to keep taking approaches at it. All right, guys. So there you have it. You've seen Chris set up. I mean, let me know what you guys think down below. I know Chris over here, 17, making it happen what he got. Life, Chris, is kicking you a little bit, you know? But Life can be hard, yeah. But Chris is getting back up, you know? And then, now, for the people that want to place a detail with you, support you, yes. follow you, yes. where can they do that? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, at underscore Chris is auto detailing. I have a bunch of pictures there of all the previous cars I've done. You know, a couple high-end cars, a couple beater cars. Hey, whatever you need done, let me know. I'll get it done. What's so, your starting price at? Uh, starting price starts at 45 for sedans, basic outside and inside. But hey, it's a detail. It's a detail wash. It's not just a regular wash. You know, I go under the seats in the crevices. We what areas done. do you cover? Uh, I live in Long Beach, so whatever is closest to me is better. But I do charge a fee, let's say, if I'm going out to like uh, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Costa Mesa, anywhere else. I go, I go pretty far, like let's say 25 miles and stuff like that out of my area. Whatever you go, if you're willing to pay for the gas, you want to show support to this youngster right here starting his own business, I'll put everything in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more detailing content, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. All right, later.